Welcome back to Trash Panda Off Road. Today we're going to take that skid plate, stick it on the convertible. Because it's going to go ahead and cover up the oil pan and the filler plug and stuff like that, we got to go ahead and do an oil change first. So while I do that, you guys watch the intro. Taking a quick look here at the skid plate, you will notice somebody welded a horseshoe to it. That's not staying. I'm going to take a couple minutes. We'll cut that off, clean that up a little bit, <clears throat> get this thing back to not having a horseshoe on it. Second thing is, I want to give a shout out to Randy Gibbs, especially for you guys here in the Pacific Northwest. That's the guy you should go to for your parts. Uh, he's got a lot, a lot of tracker stuff up there in Washington area so give him a call find him on the internet he's in most of the Facebook groups he was able to hunt this thing down for me two door skid plates uh, he'd mentioned to me this was only the third one that he'd sold uh, since he sold me the last one I bought from him so the uh, two door and the four door are different in case you guys don't know so do not get a four-door one hoping to get it onto your two-door they are not the same let's go ahead now we'll cut that horseshoe off and then we'll get ready to put this thing under there didn't want to cut into the skid plate itself so just kind of cut that thing horseshoe off of there and ground the welds down not necessarily flush but good enough so it's not gonna get stuck on anything the way the skid plate mounts two Four holes there, and a hole on each side here. There, there. Those all mount right there. There's a hole, can't see it on this side because the light's on the other side. There you go. So there's a hole right there, coming off where the A-arm connects. And then you go down under here. A little bit of oil from when we oil changed it. And, your front diff crossbar right here has got some holes in it as well. There and there. This one's already a little bent, so it is going to make things a little more difficult to get it all to line up. But what I like to do before I even get to that point, because this thing's been sitting, or not sitting, but used, and doesn't have an actual skid plate on it, these holes are really dirty. So I like to take a shot of air and some kind of a spray lube to clean out those threads by going ahead and running the bolt in. Oh, making a mess. And taking bolt. Thread it in there in order to clean those holes out. There we go. So find the impact, put just a little bit of pressure on it. There we go. So now my holes are clean and I'll be able to get this thing to bolt up a little easier. So, For me, I find the easiest thing to do to support this is just a jack stand on a block. You don't really need to bring a whole jack over here. It's not really that heavy. Go ahead and feed through your front bolts on the A-arm. Do not tighten them all the way up because you're going to need the play when you go to try to get these back ones under here tightened up and put into play. So, see if the light is helping or hurting here and it looks like it's hurting so this hole here ding is already all the way back as far as it'll go so we got to wiggle that thing up a little bit that way we can get that in there there we go push this side here up try to find that hole 
that back bottom one was going to be able to line up i just had to use two hands to be able to get to it that's why i mentioned you got to leave these ones here loose and then once you get those ones tightened up down there you can come back up tighten up the rest of the stuff this one's got that little plastic guard in the way i'll move that and get this done in a second all right so there it is easy peasy two door skid plate install didn't take nothing maybe 20 minutes or so so not counting the grinding on that horseshoe anyways thanks a lot for watching guys uh, put your comments down below subscribe to the channel always doing geo tracker content and i'll see you guys in the next video